Ah, oh, Pinocchio, come in. Well, what is it? Tell me, do, do you feel well? Me? Uh, yes, I feel wonderful. But, but are you really sure? Of course. Why should I tell you one thing if I mean another? Well, in that case, I'd like to know why you're wearing that silly thing on your head. Well, you see, it's like this. Uh, the doctor thought I ought to wear it because I hurt my knee. But, uh, but, uh, anyway, why are you wearing that silly thing on your head? Me? Oh, yes. Because the doctor said that I ought to wear it because I had hurt the left toe. Listen, Lucignolo, would you answer me one question? Have you ever suffered from an illness of your ears? Never. And you? Well, uh, you see, this morning I've had a... To tell you the honest truth, I've had a pain in my ears. Well, me, I tell you the truth. I have a pain in my ears, too. Listen, would you do me a favor? Could I just have a look at your ears? Of course you can, but first of all, you have to let me look at yours. No, no. First I want to look at your ears and... No, no, nothing doing. First I see uh... yours or nothing. Oh, very well. Let's do it this way. I'll count to three, and, and then at the count of three, we'll both take our hats off together. Agreed? Very well, I agree. All right. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. One... Two, three, Luchignolo. Pinocchio. <laughs> if you could see your <laughs> your ears, they're just like donkey's ears. <laughs> and you do. They're so long. <laughs> you know what you look like. <laughs> you look to me like a little jackass. <laughs> and you do. <laughs> to me, you look like <laughs> like the winner of a long ear contest. <laughs> I'll be able to sell you for a good price at the market. <laughs> and now you understand who the coachman was. He was a scoundrel who lured little children into Toyland, waited for them to become donkeys, and then sold them in the marketplace. Thus, the donkey...